Mm, it looks like up next, it's either going to be me and Kalen. Yeah, right. it's going to be me and... So what? what I'm hearing is we're potentially yeah, yeah, yeah. having Kaiser and yep, Kalen playing on stream. Yep, we're going to be me and Kalen versus Catherine and Muscat on stream Against next. Against Catherine and Muscat. Oh, that's a really hype team, actually. And we got Lemons joining me back on the couch. You say, I hear Catherine After and Muscat. unceremoniously bailing on the early part of our commentary. Well, you know, I had, no to, go, I had to go get info on, our, on the next match. You see Catherine Muscat, right? Yes. Okay, well, we just played those fools. And uh, you know one thing I noticed about that? They uh, they talk to each other a lot mid-match. At least Muscat. Because I would have thought they had more of a psychic connection. You know, the no. whole sibling thing. Maybe Catherine does, but oh, we gotta play. Sorry. Are you really gonna do this to me? Yes, but the other thing I was gonna say, yeah, yeah. Uh, you might look for it. Musket often uh, talks, tells her things, secrets. Uh, is he doubles. like? In what tone does he say things? Is he like, get the damn ledge? <laughs> uh, now, Catherine. I, quite I swear that. to God, Catherine, he's, if you don't get that ledge. He's insistent. <laughs> he's making statements. All right, he's not questioning. He's making clear statements. You need to get the ledge now. Yeah, yeah, something like that. All right, well, Lemons is gone. All right. This is actually, I think, a very tight battle incoming. Musket and Catherine, probably playing Fox Peach, have the sibling connection and almost psychic bond, you might say. Whereas Kai and Kaylin couldn't be more separated, you know? Different states, different characters, different attitudes towards life. This really is an apples and oranges type pairing. But you know, it takes all sorts in uh, in this crazy life that we live to win in Smash Brothers Melee. So who really knows at the end of the day what the right team combination is and what the wrong team combination is. I certainly don't. Is anyone in chat? Thank you. And we got stage striking. So I think Musket obviously gonna the Musket team's obviously gonna wanna go to Dreamland. We got Skip joining me. Wow. I was I was resigned to a life of, uh, of lonely lonely speaking into the void. And here I have Skip, the I number one Luigi man on this couch. Or well, questionable. Luigi main? Maybe. Luigi yeah. like Luigi? No, I think, I think almost certainly. Very cleanly. How you doing, Nick? Good, man. <sighs> Are you ready to commentate some doubles? Yeah, dude. It's exciting. Uh, this should be good. Hype. If you got. I think the psychic bond between Catherine and Musket is going to be too strong. Yeah. I, I feel that. I think uh, Kaelin and Kai struggled in their first set a little bit. Yeah. They've got no bond. They've got like an anti-bond. It's like uh, just when the... Two good players double up, you know? Exactly, they're getting each other's way. The egos are clashing, you know? It's like Mango Levin. Yeah, true. This is the brothers, but uh, one's a sister. Yeah, the, the siblings. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine is my sibling. <laughs> Classic. So I think Musk is going to have to do a lot of the heavy lifting in terms of uh, earning openings. But Catherine just like position herself well and bounce smash and do like a lot of damage. Yeah, she cleaned up that edge guard. You know. But uh, yeah, I think Musket's obviously gonna be the aggressor. Ooh, not unless that happens. Ooh, I think Musket really could have covered the uh, the low short illusion there. <laughs> Kai's playing the plat spit now. Yeah, I'm just like trying to watch for what the roles actually are here. Yeah. The first couple of stops of like teams. My feeling is that Catherine just like reacts to situations as they happen and does the most immediately obvious thing. Yeah. I heard um Jordy describe uh, Musket's uh, playstyle as very deliberate. Like he like every action has like a reason. That's uh, that's like. Kind way of putting it. I, yeah, I agree, actually. I feel like Musket, I've always said, is 
very goal oriented. Yeah. So he he knows what like he's more of a macro kind of player. You feel? Yeah, and he just does the things that are like most likely to get the result in the moment. Ooh. Early death there for Catherine. That was a crazy like team kill from Kaylin and Kai. Kai yeah. literally just F smashed in the opposite direction at Kaylin. That's what happens when they don't have the chemistry. Exactly. Too many egos. I really wish these guys would just put their egos aside for one moment, just for the sake of team teamwork. Is that too much to ask? I don't think so. Apparently, but uh, I don't know. Let's see if, what they can do here. It's, <laughs> they have a chance. They got one chance. That's the thing about life. You only get one shot sometimes. <laughs> All right, and Kai in a, a tough spot. Falco not really the character to do this with, and uh, typically Musket wins the singles matches between these two. Yeah, he's doing a good job of not getting uh, opened up by the other one when he goes in. I think Kai's like exclusively targeting Kath at yeah. the moment. She's on like 150. Yeah. Ooh, he got caught she also is like weaker in the neutral. All right. All of a sudden, we've got a we've got a real battle. I think Kai's playstyle against Fox is very, like, fearful. He kind of, like, overestimates Fox's capabilities, I think. Yeah. Doesn't take the opportunities he should. Yeah, something like that. And he, like, kind of doesn't really take the stage when it's uh, given to him. Close. Alright, so Muska takes that. He'll be happy with that. Yeah, Kai was doing well, though. He, uh, he almost clutched that. He did a really good job of like targeting Catherine mm. only and like getting his hits where he could and like not committing himself to a position where he could get immediately punished. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like he like made sure that uh, Musket wasn't really in a position to yeah. punish a hit. Absolutely. So where would you go if you were uh, Team Spacey? Uh, I don't play as Spacey, but I think they were getting a lot of mileage of uh, targeting Catherine. So. Uh, Weird choice. Yeah, I was gonna say not this, but um, it could also work if they feel like. Uh, I mean, if they hit Catherine away, then she's gonna like take a lot to get back, like right. they're and everything. So maybe they're feeling like they can uh, target Musket in that time. Yeah, maybe. If they play the like the one v ones correctly and like always have. It's just, yeah, I mean, like, both of these players are so favored against Catherine in the one-on-one, -on -one, whereas Musket is, like, also favored against Musket. Yeah. I think Kalen is the kind of player who's, like, way better than the little scrambles, though. So what was that? Kalen is the kind of player who's way better in the little scrambles oh, yeah, than, for sure. uh, than Musket. It's yeah. more of a, like, a scrapper, if you will. One thing I really hate in Melee is, like, going for the up smash at percent for one kill. Yeah, I mean, like just hit him off stage. Yeah, you can use a, a, a not a less committal option that will put them in a better position for you. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's a mystery, really. Like obviously a low percent will combo. Yeah. But like doing it like 80 is just like what? Yeah. Not achieving. Just get another chance to come back. Yeah. Great shine from Kalen. Really, really like well. paid attention to when the Firefox started and got the Armada frame from it. Yeah. Yeah, they've got all that percent on Catherine, so yeah, look, like look how long it took to uh, for her to come back now at like 150. They could use all that time to do one musket, even though he just uh, shot Kaylin. Yeah, but on the other hand, Catherine like able to stock tank very well. Like if you're leaving yourself to take like seven stocks on musket or something, which obviously isn't happening, but yeah, it can be rough. <laughs> It's a pretty crucial stock here, honestly. Yeah. This is like when it's like 2 and 1, this is where it gets dicey because whoever gets a kill, like, can set up a 2v1. Yeah. Oh, I go with the laser to, like, harass Catherine rather than responding to the team combo. Yeah. And I think, like, Catherine being out there, like, is way better to go for the team combo on the box than to, like, mess with Catherine. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, if they clean up musket, yeah. So this is really favorable. Although, I've seen stranger things happen for oh, sure. Oh, for sure. But uh, they have a 2v1 for now at least, and then... Uh, 
The Catherine's actually surprisingly good for both matchups, so I think... She was I mean, doing really was, well against Kai. Yeah. She can get that cheeky one hit on Kai. True. Yeah. And it is Dreamland. Good wait from Kalen. He really didn't want to get down smash there. Yeah. Obviously, Cat didn't go for it, but... um, Good to respect that. She tried it there. Yeah. Good choice to down now. I yeah. think she probably could have DI'd in a little bit. Yeah, they cleaned it up. Yeah. Game three. Best One. of three, I think, yeah? Yes. Probably. FD? Uh, why? I don't know. I think it's both of their like best individual stages, maybe. They are those kind of people. Yeah. I think. Yeah, you might be right. For sure. When someone asked me um, if Catherine could chain grab on FD, I'm like, well, it's, it's Musket's sister, so I can only assume that... Uh, I don't know whether she can. She's not... I don't feel like her playstyle is that Musket-esque. Okay. Musket's a unique kind of guy. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Catherine's not really a, a practicer of melee. Yeah. She shows up to weeklies, plays, learns, you know, organically, but kind of misses out on a lot of the, uh, the tech. Oh, double pinch? This is bold. Ah, oh, musket pride, baby. Hell yeah. Must save rules or something. Or like... What is trip? Probably some anime thing. I know Catherine's really into anime. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Boy, what, what do you mean it makes sense? Uh, if you like... I think there's over a 50% chance of anyone in the room here being pretty into anime. Right. I thought you were going to say if you like anime, you're way more likely to make it like your tag. Oh, no, that like, also, just, yeah. Just like show off how much you like anime. Like, I like sports and I don't put like, you know. Yeah, I hear you're really big into indoor soccer, which, uh... Oh, yeah, I, I mean, I'm an indoor soccer, soccer genius, yeah. dude. Genius? Yeah, literally. I'm, I'm literally a Dennis Burkamp. Oh, really? We're reincarnated and way less fit and strong. Yeah, I heard you saying like, oh, I scored like seven goals the other day. I'm like, damn. Yeah, my team is really bad, so I look really good. Ah, okay. It sounds like my brother. <laughs> yeah, like, I just like, hold it down in goals and he like, scores five and then we win. Yeah, that's basically what happens in our team. We have like, a keeper who's like, the best in the league, and then me, who's probably like, one of the better players in the league. Yeah. And then a bunch of really bad players. But the keeper just carries and I score some goals. Uh, double Peach, looking out. Yeah, they're doing it to him. Oh, no. Oh, what a... Oh, oh. she got pushed to the ledge and then, uh... That was nearly a very fortuitous circumstance for Kavir. Yeah. I wonder which one's which, actually. Uh, I think Musket is impact. Yeah, Kavir would be trip. Because I think he switched and then attacked once. Yeah. They should have done something like musket best or like musket good. Yeah, or like musk cat. That's good too. Because it really does look like musket is the best right now. Yeah, the, the musket lineage will win out in the end. Or maybe it's like a cat that recently died or something. And they're paying tribute. A lot of meaty hits are adding up. Yeah, the sound effects are like pounding in my ears right yeah. now. <laughs> a lot of nares, a lot of down smashes. Yes, wow. Kaylin literally like challenges the down smash with a back air and wins completely. What a mad man. Nerves of steel. Yeah. He didn't challenge the nair there, that was I think that's gonna be it. Yeah, he's gonna let Kaylin do the 2v1. I don't know whether Kai would have had a chance to get down with like a drop down laser if he oh, could have stopped. I think Kalen was far below the stage though. Right? But I mean, if he lasered, then he could have hit Kalen out of the up B and had him up B again. Oh, swag. <laughs> Alright, well, the power of psychic bonds between siblings. Yeah, there it is. They, uh, I've just got that out-of-game presence. Exactly. The cognizance. So much cognizance. 
So it puts them in a uh, winner's semis, I think. Do you know what I really love? How happy Musket is when Catherine does well. Yeah, he was cheering for her really hard. Yeah. Uh, when she beat Dom, I think, as well, he was uh, like, Catherine, you're so good. I'm like, I, I make fun of my sister all the time. Like, yeah. I can't imagine doing that. Maybe if my sister was a cool gamer. 